Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we will be solving this equation using the bisection method. And here our question reads as Solve using bisection method the equation x cube minus x minus 1 equals to 0 correct to 4 decimal places. So we simply need to find the root of this equation correct to 4 decimal places. So here we have given fx equals to x cube minus x minus 1 and here our tolerance now in the first we need to find the tolerance here our tolerance is given four decimal places so tolerance equals to four decimal places then we have our error e equals to 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus n here our value of n is 4 so we have e equals to 1 by 2 10 to the power minus 4 this is equal to 0 0.0005 0.005 now what does this error refers to is our value of fx needs to be less than or equal to 0.0005 or our value of b minus a needs to be less than or equal to 0.0005 needs to be less than or equal to 0.005 next we have we need to suppose a and b in order to find the root of this equation so uh, since the we need to find a and b and, and we need to choose a and b in such a way that f a times f b must be less than zero so uh, so let me choose a and b i'm gonna choose let a equals to one such that f a equals to f one so if i put one over this equation i get 1 cube minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 which is less than 0 now i need to choose b in such a uh, b in such a way that uh yeah b must be greater than 0 so i have let b equals to i'm choosing 2 such that f b equals to f2 equals to 2 cube minus 2 minus 1 so i get this as 5 which is greater than 0 so here our so here our f a f1 dot f2 is less than 0 is less than 0 so i can choose a as 1 as uh, a as 1 and b as 2 next we next uh, we uh, move on to find the total steps required total steps required so in order to find the root of the equation with uh, with values with a and b values a and 1 uh, we need to calculate the total steps required which will which we will calculate as total steps required and is greater than or equal to ln b minus a divided by e divided by ln 2 so this is our formula and we get as ln we have our value of b as 2 a as 1 divided by e is 0 0.0005 divided by ln 2 and we get this as n is greater than or equal to 14.28 so we need to have almost 15 almost 15 approximation in order to find the root of this equation with a and b values 1 and 2 and for and, and let me write down my first approximation as well my first approximation x now my first approximation, first approximation for the root x equals to b plus a divided by 2 which is equal to we have b value 2 a value 1 divided by 2 which is 3 divided by 2 equals to 1.5 now in order to find the now in order to find the root of this equation uh, we uh, we will be uh, we will be drawing the table now we'll be drawing our table this way we'll have we'll have our n a b x f x and remarks so now our number of approximation needs to run from 1 to 14 as we uh, 1 to 15 as we calculate, calculate over here so we need to have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and our 15th we need to run our we need to run our approximation still 15 now uh, we have our f a now we have our f a is less than 0 our f a is less than 0 as our f1 value is minus 1 less than 0 so our f a is going to be smaller than 0 negative similarly our f b is going to be greater than 0 plus and now here we'll be writing our a and b so as we approximated initially our initial a and b value is 1 and 2 so our a and b is 
1 and 2 now for uh, now for our x our uh, fx is x cube minus x minus 1 so now our x value is a plus b divided by 2 which is x equals to a plus b divided by 2 which is 1 plus 2 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 now we need to find our fx value and we will be writing down the remarks over here so what we need to do is we need to put our 1.5 value over here and we need to repeat this process till 14th or 15th uh, 14th or 15th time until we get our until we get our answer doing this manually for 14 time is going to be a lot of time co consuming and may result in some uh, errors so we'll be setting so for so simply we'll be setting the function in our calculator so firstly so what i need to do next is i need to keep i need to put the value of 1.5 in this function over here the, and i need to do uh, do this till 14th or 15th time until i get my result but doing this manually is going to be uh, difficult a lot time consuming and may result in some error so what we'll be simply doing is we'll be setting up the function in our calculator so our first process is going to be we are going to click on shift and mode and in our number 6 uh, we see fix we will be clicking over here fix and as our question tells over here we need to find our root correct to 4 decimal places so what we will be doing is I will uh, I'll put my value of fix to 4 next what I need to do is so what I need to do next is I will be setting up a function so in order to set up a function I, I need to type this in my calculator I need to type c equals to a plus b divided by 2 is to c cube minus c minus 1 so this is going to be so what i'm uh, doing actually over here is our function is x cube minus x minus 1 so i am setting this function over here so we need to set this function so this function represents our fx and we need to find the value of x as well which is equal to a plus b by 2 so we'll be setting this function and we'll be entering the value of a and b and, we, and we'll be finding the value of x and we'll be finding the value of fx as well so what we need to do is we need to go to our calculator and firstly i need to set this so i have c over here so i click on alpha and then c and i'll click on equals to i uh, s equals to but i need to click the equals to of this calculator so i'll again click on alpha calculate so a plus b divided by 2 so let me enter a plus b divided by 2 then i'll next i'll be entering is to uh next is to uh, c cube c cube c cube minus c minus 1 so what i have uh, simply done is i have set the function to calculate the value of uh, to calculate the value of c uh, of yfx and to calculate the value of x so firstly equals to uh, so don't click on equals to if you click on equals to you'll be getting the syntax error so next what you need to do is you need to click on calculate over here click on calculate after clicking on calculate firstly i need to enter the value of a so what i have the value of a is 1 equals to the value of b is 2 equals to so after doing this i simply get the value of c which is 3 by 2 which is 1.5000 this is my value of x and i need to uh, uh, and next i need the value of fx so let me click equals to one more time so I get my value of fx as 0 0.875, 0 0.8750. So now I need to for my remarks where the value of fx is greater than zero. So we need to replace uh, b, which is positive. When it's, which is positive, I need to replace b, replace b by x. So now for my uh, next uh, next step, what I need to do is I need to keep the value of a same what the value of b gets replaced by 1.5 1.5 so now i again go in, go to my calculator i click equals to so now the, my value of a is same so i don't i don't do any changes the value of a remains same one only i click equals to one more time now my value of b has changed from 2 to 1.5 so i entered that 1.5 so now my value of c is 1.2500 so let me just write 1.25 now for the value of fx i get now my value of fx is minus 0 0.2969 so as you can see how easily we can find the value of x and fx after we after we set up the function so simply we need to uh, we need to set up our function we need to set up our function for x and uh, for x and fx so firstly set your function function for x by equal by putting any uh, by putting any variable x equals to a plus b divided by 2 then put on is to sign and put your fx by simply setting this in your in your calculator you are going to easily calculate in short a short amount of time your value of fx and x so let me write the re remarks so my fx is smaller than zero so i need to replace a this time so i need to replace a replace a by x 
सो फॉर दिस लॉजिक आई एम सिंपली ट्राइंग टू मेंटेन एफ ए टाइम्स एफ बी लेस देन जीरो सो एज यू कैन सी हर माई ए एंड बी बोथ इन इन दिस केस ए इज नेगेटिव एंड बी इज पॉजिटिव सो आई गेट माई वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बट इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप बट नाउ बट बट इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप एज यू कैन सी द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एक्स इज पॉजिटिव सो द पॉजिटिव वन विच इज द बी गेट्स रिप्लेस्ड बाई एक्स सो इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वट आई वट आई गेट इज आई विद द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन With the value of x as 1.25, the f x becomes negative. So whenever it becomes negative, a gets replaced. So I need to repeat this till 14th. If um, if the value of f x comes negative, a gets replaced, and if the value of f x comes uh, negative, b gets replaced by the value of x. So let me go for my third third. Uh, let me go in my third iteration. So what I get is uh, my value of x is uh, now as the value of f x is negative, I need to replace the value of a. So I need to replace the value of a by a. Uh, I need to replace the value of a by x, so I get a as 1.25. One change into 1.25, while the value of b remains same, 1.5. So I see. So I go back to my calculator. So I need to change the value of a from uh, a. My now the value of a has changed. So now the value of a is 1.25. The value of b remains same, 1.5. I don't need to change it. So now I get my value of c. Uh, c, which is my x as. Uh, 1.375 and now my value of f x is 0.2246. So now my f x is greater than zero. So whenever my value of f x is greater than zero, I need to replace b by x. Replace b by x. So uh, I move on to my next step. Uh, so a remains same 1.25, but my b gets Replaced 1.5 gets replaced by 1.375. I again go back to my calculator. A 1.25 remains same. No any changes. B uh, I need to change the value of B to 1.375. So I so for B I enter 1.3 uh, 1 1.375 1.375. I click on enter and I get the value of C as 1.3125. 1.3125 and now my value of f x is. Minus zero point zero five one five, so my f x is less than zero. So as my f x is uh, less than zero, I need to replace a. I need to replace the value of a by x. So replace a by x. I move on to my next step. I need to replace one point two five by one point three one two five. B remains same one point three seven five. I need to go. Uh, I need then I go back to my calculator. So I need to repeat this process till fifteenth, fifteenth uh, or fourteenth iteration. So I've already done this before, and let me show you over here. So as you can see over here, so this is so this is what you get. So firstly, I put my value a one, b two, I get x one point five, and f x is zero point eight seven five zero. Here f x is greater than zero. Here f x is greater than zero. So I replace b. Since b is the is the one which is greater than zero, I replace b by x. B by x for positive case, so two gets. So here the two since f x is greater than zero and f b is greater than zero, the two gets replaced by one point five. Two one point five comes over here while one remains same. One remains same. Similarly, a value one b one point five. I I simply need to enter enter the value a a as one and b as one point five. I sim then I easily get one point two five and f x value. Minus zero point two nine six nine. So as I explained before, uh, you need to set up the functions uh, functions in your calculator. That way, you will uh, you will find your answers very easily and quickly. And f x is less than zero. Since f x is less than zero, in this case, a gets replaced. A gets replaced because a is the one which is less than zero. I have shown the negative sign. So so a which which was one gets replaced by one point two five. B remains same. One point five remains same. So I get value of x one point three seven five. And I need to do this. Uh, and I need to do this until. Until I get, and I need to do this till 15th steps. Till 15th steps. So I'm, but uh, right now I'm doing this only till 14th step because once I move to my 14th step, what you can see is I get my b value as 1.32, 1.3248, and my x value is 1.3248 only. So for my 15th uh, and here, f x is greater than zero. So I need to replace b by x. So let me put here 1.3247. But if I replace b by x, here b and x are same values. 1.3248, 1.3248. So this is going to go in a loop. I am going to get the same values, uh, same value, uh, same value only. So I am. Uh, so I have done this till 14th step. So I have done this till 14th steps only. So my required root is 
1.3248 only so in this way you need to so follow the same step uh, you need to follow the same step till 14th uh, 14th uh, 14th iteration if uh, if i had got a different value over here like, let's say 1.3247 or 49 i, I had to do i had to uh, do it till 15th iteration replacing 1.3248 by my required value but uh, since the here b and x value are same and i and, and i need to replace b by x at fourth step i am not continuing this uh, anymore so if you have any queries uh, regarding bisection method uh, you can comment down below i'll try to answer them uh, as quickly as possible and if this video was any help to you do subscribe the channel like the video and we'll be uploading more similar videos in the future so do subscribe the channel thank you